Hello everyone, this is Kathy bringing you back another video and today I decided to take a little break from the building vlog, the c more creative side of my videos and go back to another review. It's been a while and I'm looking forward to it. So I was looking around Michaels looking for something to review and I knew my area of expertise is inks. So I was looking for something along those lines. So I was looking around and I saw these and I knew as soon as I saw the gold I had to review it. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm a sucker for metallics, especially gold, ever since I did the Fine Tick watercolor review. They had more colors like copper and silver, and I'll, I'll some other colors uh, within the iridescent line, but I decided to get the gold because, you know, you know me. I only got two products to review because both of these products, the iridescent gold, copper plate gold, and the pen white, both run around $10, a little more, a little less, depending on what you get it. In my opinion, isn't really all that bad considering the amount you get in the product as well as the quality of the product. So like I said before, I was looking at the stock they had and the different colors they had. But my I wanted to get them all but my wallet wasn't really agreeing to it. So I just decided to go for the pen white and the gold since A, I love gold, you guys know that. And I just finished my Sumi gel pens. And I decided to explore more with my white opaque paints. So I wanted to try the, out the pen white. And I thought it would be a nice variance to feature both of them in a review. And after I decided to get these two things, I stumbled across the black paper sketchbook by Canson. It caught my eye and I knew it would be perfect to do a video with the sketchbook and these two product other products. Since the black would really contrast against the white and the gold and it would really show it off. So now that you guys know the backstory behind these products, let's get started. I'm going to go for the pen white and the gold since so as you guys know, I adore gold paints. So I just thought it'd be fitting that the first color that I tried out from Martin's iridescent line would be the copper plate gold. Now this certain line of colors is specifically made for calligraphy. However, the way I will be using it and the way that I use most of, of everything that I review would be using them in a drawing. Using the Tashikawa G-Pen and handle. So both of these products I'm going to be using the same way with a variety of dip pens and a brush. First things first, the fir very first thing I noticed when I got my hands on the bottle was that the pigment separated. So this is very common, um, especially in inks, the pigment will separate from the binder and you kind of have to give it a good shake before you use it and that's exactly what I did here. And so you give it a good shake before you start using it. The consistency of the ink is very fluid. It's not too thick where it won't flow through the ink, but not thin enough to where it's streaky or runny. It's the same fluidity as milk. And because of that, I had absolutely no troubles with nib flow coming out of the G-Pen. The product is super opaque and dries flat onto the paper. And against the black paper that I have it on, it looks really, really good. So I went on Dr. PH Martin's website and according to the website, the other properties of this certain product is that it's archival, waterproof, light fast, and not spreading, and you can use it on other surface rather than just paper, like wood, board, metal, and some plastics. At least that's what it says on the website. So I had uh, a lot of fun using the copper plate. I didn't find anything necessarily wrong with it. The only caveat that I have about this product is the amount of time you actually have to shake it while you're using it. I probably shook it around five or six times while I was drawing this because the pigment kept separating. Now th now be careful because depending on who you are that might be really really annoying but for me it didn't bother me all too much especially since I'm anal about like getting the most of the, out of my, the product so I'm o I was always sh like shaking it and making sure that I actually got gold not like a brown sort of liquid that was kind of I was getting from the separation. And as far as the actual color. Ever since I reviewed the Fine Tex, uh, comparing these two, it's not as vibrant as the Fine Tex. I find that they're the the color of the Fine Tex are much more vibrant than this. I find, but that's not discrediting this at all, really. Um, the pigment is still there. It's still just as metallic as the Fine Tex. It's just as opaque, and I think it's just as smooth. Really, I think it's kind of down to preference and how easy you're able to use this with uh, a dip pen especially. Um, with the fine text they're actual watercolors that come from pan so they're limited in the way you can use them. This you can put it like exactly how it says 
in a dip pen in using with using it with a dip pen a brush uh, an air airbrush even so it's much more easier to use it in different forms so that's definitely an advantage this has over a watercolor gold paint so enough about this uh, let's go on to the pen white so just for the record I use this exactly the same way that I did the copper plate gold being that the only other white ink I've used in my work have either been white acrylic paint or the sumi pen ink the sumi ballpoint pen I don't have much experience with other white paints and inks so I don't have a lot to compare it to but I can say that I didn't have much problems working with this either it was I couldn't use it exactly like the copper plate because it was much too opaque to actually use it with a, a dip pen you have to dilute it with water which upon further research is what you're supposed to do so what I did was I dipped the pen into the pen white and then I dipped into a, a, a glass of water that I had on the side too and that's pretty much how I used it throughout the entire drawing and that worked fine for me but another option is that you can create a separate mixture using a mixture of both the pen white and however much water you want to use and then just dipping it into that and I've seen videos where that's worked fine too so that's definitely an option Dr. PH Martins does offer a similar product called bleed proof white which many other calligraphers do use in their work but the difference between this and the bleed proof white is that this is meant to be much more versatile than that one the bleed proof white is more intended for covering up mistakes which is why it's so opaque the pen white is more designed for use such as like you can use it in airbrushes technical pens uh, dip pens and a brush so uh, the intended use for this is a uh, much more wide than the other one so if you guys had a question about that because I know that these two are quite similar if you guys were wondering about that and this isn't waterproof just to let you guys know so you can't really oh I guess you can use it with like watercolors but just keep that in mind that it's not waterproof mm, it's definitely like archival most of everything that Dr. PH Martin's produces is archival so I don't really think there's anything to worry about that it's a very strong company and so strong brand to trust in that respect this is actually the best white ink I have ever used I haven't used much but I was actually very pleased by how this was coming out it was a bit opaque and it looked amazing against the black so both of these are actually really really good um, I don't really have anything bad to say about the pen white other than it's I was having troubles with it getting completely opaque because sometimes you could see different you could you could see some streaky parts in the drawing but honestly that was just probably the ra ratio of pen white to water I was using I don't really think that was the product I think that was me so that has been my review on the pen white and copper plate gold iridescent from dr ph martin i hope you guys enjoyed this review i thought i hope you found it helpful if you have anything else to comment on or say go ahead and leave it in the comments uh i love it when you guys share what you know about a product so that it becomes more known to other people who watch the video follow me on instagram snap twitter if you guys want to know more about me if you guys want to see more of my content if you guys want to see more of my artwork like sneak peeks and stuff go ahead and follow snap so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time things i don't really think that was the product i think that was me so that has been my review on the pen white and copper plate gold iridescent from dr ph martin i hope you guys enjoyed this review i thought i hope you found it helpful if you have anything else to comment on or say go ahead and leave it in the comments uh i love it when you guys share what you know about a product so that it becomes more known to other people who watch the video follow me on instagram snap twitter if you guys want to know more about me if you guys want to see more of my content if you guys want to see more of my artwork like sneak peeks and stuff go ahead and follow snap so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time